Hi everyone! Cardboard prototyping is a valuable skill that enables you to visualize and communicate your design quickly and affordably, whether at full or partial scale. It's a great step to do before jumping to CAD, 3D printing, or machining. Today we'll go over some techniques that will help you make sleek cardboard prototypes. The main tools you'll need are a cutting mat, a metal ruler, a sharp box cutter or X-Acto knife, a hot glue gun, and lots of cardboard. Now on to the techniques. First is cutting a straight line. This may seem simplistic, but using a metal ruler as a guide is a huge help. We recommend scoring a line first, meaning cutting only part of the way through, and then cutting all the way through for a cleaner line. Similarly, cutting a curved line, you can use another object as a guide if you want. Regardless, we still recommend scoring first. This lets you lay out a path smoothly and helps guide the box cutter when you try to cut further. It gives you cleaner lines and less cardboard fraying. Folds and curves. Scoring is also a great way to bend cardboard. If you want to fold cardboard, score a straight line along the outside of the fold. This gives it space to bend. If you want to make the cardboard flexible or curved, score along the corrugations. How far apart you score changes the radius that's possible. Next, let's talk about ways to attach cardboard. Interlocking scores. If you score two pieces of cardboard, you can slide them together for a delicate but clean hold. If you need to support corners or attach pieces more strongly, you can make tabs following the fold method and glue them onto your pieces. Slots. Cut slots into two pieces of cardboard and interlock them. Hot glue. There's always the tried and true hot glue method, but watch your strings. There are also some more novel or niche ideas. For example, squish the cardboard. By doing this, you can make it flat and bendy. Try hiding and showing the corrugations at different points of your object to differentiate textures and components.
Lamination. Need more thickness? Stack pieces of cardboard to build up volume. Consider using paper clips or pins as rotation points. So, to recap, use a metal ruler and a sharp knife for clean lines. Score your lines first, then cut all the way through. There are many ways to attach and bend cardboard to achieve the desired appearance. Don't forget to experiment with other things on hand to make more unique, more functional prototypes too! We hope this helps get you started with cardboard prototyping! Thanks for watching!